Hello, friends, and welcome to Troidal Power Presents the Power Playthroughs podcast with Troidal Power. I'm your host, Troidal Power. This is the podcast where we play games in a powerful way. Uh, I haven't finished my my Bond playthrough yet, um, but, oh, is my mic spiking too much? No, I think it's fine. Uh, I haven't finished my playthrough of um, uh, Goldeneye, but uh, as I'm recording this, uh, the episode on... The world is not enough is coming up. Um, so I figured I'd play a little bit of that. Is there, there's no sound. There should be sound. Hang on. Sound. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Um, I just listened to uh, Ultra 64 covering this uh this here Vigi game um and they, they didn't give it very favorable reviews they only played i think they said a level and a half i'm hoping to get a little farther than that um so mission one is the courier we're gonna play on secret agent normal or easy mode let's play on secret agent let's do it um all right courier mission objectives collect equipment from safety deposit box and avoid civilian casualties check out my six surveillance footage for more details on key personnel M says, uh, terrible news, 007. An MI6 agent has been murdered, and a classified report from the Russian Atomic Energy Department was taken from his body. An old friend, Sir Robert King, accidentally purchased this, purchased this stolen document, believing it to contain information about terrorists. He accidentally purchased... Weird, okay. Uh, in the meantime, a Swiss banker named Lachey, a middleman in this affair, has offered to return Sir Robert's money. I want you to go to him, discover who killed our agent, and collect the money. And this is from Robinson, Chief of Staff, who says, Lachey works for the Bank Su de l'Industrie in Bilbao, Spain. It's a private industrial bank, one of a number we've had our eye on for some time. We suspect Lachey has been involved in a number of deals with terrorists and other international criminals. Lachey won't, have to, won't want to talk to you, and I'm sure he'll have some bodyguards. Q Branch has come up with some equipment to give you a helping hand there. You won't be able to carry weaponry into the bank yourself, so we've arranged for your equipment to be inserted into a safety deposit box. You'll also find an appointment card in there. You'll need it to see Lachey. And then uh, R from Q Branch says, Now pay attention, 007. This may look like your standard issue P2K pistol. In fact, it's a small but highly powerful stun grenade. The trigger is a hidden switch in the frame of these completely innocent looking spectacles. Simply press here and make sure you've got your eyes shut. Anyone caught in the blast is going to be blind and deaf for a good few seconds. This should give you the edge in any nastiness. Apparently I can't do a John Cleese impression. That's what we're learning today on Turtle Power Presents the Power Playthroughs podcast with Turtle Power. You won't be able to carry a gun into this place. It's a bank, after all. Still, we've got an updated version of one of my favorites. This Q Branch wristwatch is fitted with a multi-shot dart gun, activated by nerve impulses from the wrist muscles. The tranquilizer darts will drop a fully grown man on the spot, but he'll wake up safe and sound a few minutes later. I just, I'm gonna give up on that. Oh, and there are, there are the, 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 there are the other usual functions too, of course. Cutting laser, plus a long-range wireless stunner I've been experimenting with. Try not to lose this one, all right? All right, let's start the mission. Uh, I don't have a rumble pack inserted right now, but thank you for telling me that I could use one video game. I had to have a memory card inserted instead because this game requires a memory card to save. Jerks. This game's made by EA, not not uh, not by Rare, even though it's very similar. All right, here we are in the bank. We've just seen a blocky individual walking in that I assume is James Bond. Um, and then a load screen of... Uh, oh, okay. Good afternoon, sir. Can I help you? Voice acting. The name's Bond. James Bond. I think ah, that's Mr. actually Bond, Pierce Brosnan. We have a safety deposit box. Wait doing the voice me. acting for Pierce Brosnan. That's cool. All right, where's my safety deposit box? You have a safety deposit box waiting for me. Uh, ah, Mr. Bond. She just says the same thing when I walk up to her. So I guess I'll go down the hall. There's a guard here. Let's let's walk up to him. I'm afraid no one gets to see Mr. Lachey's without oh, an appointment. Oh, of course. Sir. I wasn't trying to see Mr. Lachey. I was simply looking for my safety deposit box. Is it over here? What does the sign say? Safety deposit. There we go. All right. Uh, a button to open the door. Oh, nope. That brought out my watch stunner. Okay. B button to open the door. There we go. All right. Oop. There's a security camera up at the corner here. Got to make note of that. Open this door. Here we go. Hello, lady. I'm sorry. I can't oh, help you. Okay. Sorry to disturb you. How about this you? guard? Yes, Mr. Bond. Your safety deposit box is ready for you in the privacy booth. In the booth. privacy booth. Okay. Which privacy booth? There are two. Let's try the first one. Here's a box. We'll go ahead and just close that cl close that door behind me there we go and 
Open the box. I got an appointment card and a flashbang gun. Okay. New mission objective, collect money from Vault. Collect money from Vault? Oh, okay. So in the movie, the money is in uh, Lachey's office, but in this, it's going to be in a vault. Okay. Let's talk to this guard. Do you have an appointment, I sir? do have an appointment. So I remember them talking about this on Ultra 64, that... They had some trouble figuring out how to use the appointment card. Do I just have to pause? Oh my gosh, the pause screen is sponsored by Motorola. It says Motorola up at the top. Okay, let's go to gadgets and appointment card and then go up to this guard. Do you have an appointment, Yeah, sir? I'm holding the appointment card. Do I press Z? Yes. Okay, cutscene of Bond walking through uh, the uh, security thing. And he says, excuse please me, sir. Remove please remove your, your firearm. firearm. So I, I had to put the gun in the safety deposit box in order to pick it up but it had to be in a safety deposit box because I can bring it. Anyway, we're in his office now. I retrieved the money. No doubt Sir Robert will oh, be I'm sure Sir Robert will be very again. pleased to see it again. I didn't come just for the money. The report you sold King was stolen from an MI6 agent who was killed for it. I want to know who killed him. I'm just I'm a middleman. Just a middleman. Take, Take the, the money. money. Your last I'm pretty sure that's straight from the movie. Give me a name. You still threaten me, even without your weapon. Oh, dang. Did that happen in the movie? A girl just pulled a gun out and shot the guy. I don't think that happened in the movie. Uh, crack safe, obtain, uh, uh, obtain something and destroy videotape backup. So I've got two new objectives that have just popped up. So I'm in his office. Everyone else seemed to run out. I do have my gun now. Bond did the, the flashbang thing and scared people. Now in the movie, I would just go out this moment. Oh, someone's shooting at me. Hello, please stop shooting me or I will kill you. You're dead. Um, in the movie, Bond went out the window, but in this, I have to do something different. Um, let's check our objectives here, objectives. Uh, avoid civilian casualties in progress, collects Robert's money from Lachey's vault, crack safe to obtain security swipe card and destroy videotape backup. So I need to find a safe to crack. Um, there is uh, what looks like another privacy booth uh, or this is his secretary's room. So maybe I was supposed to go out the other door. Oh, Bond is now just murdering all the security guards in this bank. I sure hope they're baddies, because, oh, it said avoid civilian casualties, but apparently security guards at a bank don't count. That guy's got a big old silver gun with a scope on it, a Mustang 44. How do I switch to that gun? There we go. Oh, I remember this gun. Um, so here's a door with a security swipe card, so I can't go in there yet. Swipe card required. Okay, let's go in this room. So basically, if people put their hands up, I'm not allowed to kill them. But if they don't put their hands up, and instead of putting gun at me, then Bond just has no qualms about shooting them to death. Um, so there's a staircase going down. There's some elevators, but I want to check the rest of this floor first. Oh, didn't realize that guy was going to shoot me. Let's check in here. Oh, hang on. Okay, okay. Where's my gun? I put it away accidentally. Here we go. Uh, very snappy auto aim in this game. Oh, I see you guy poking your head through the door. Literally, he, he was like, flipping through the door uh, because this is the Nintendo 64 after all. Is there anybody else? Oh, I see you. There's a guy through this room in the hallway on the other side. So um, the guns in here have multiple firing modes. I don't know how you change the firing modes, but it says single underneath this. Ooh, hey, look, I found a safe. Okay. So I believe we have a gadget for this. Um, a safe cracker, electronic safe cracker, which automatically ascertains the combination of any safe and unlocks it. So we're gonna do that. And we got the security swipe card. So let's get a gun back out. I think we got, yeah, an automatic gun, a Meyer TMP. Okay, nobody else to shoot here. Here's another door. I'm in, I'm in a different part of the hallway, but I'm gonna open this swipe card door. Do I have to go into my gadgets? I have to, okay, so I have to pause it and go into my gadgets menu. Choose security swipe card to equip it. Use it on the door. Cannot use that item here. My, was, do you have to aim precisely? You have to aim at the, the security swipe card slot more precisely than you have to aim at the goons. Okay. Don't shoot. Hello, I am not going to shoot you. I am just here to shoot. shoot your computers. Oh, okay, don't shoot the computers. So the computer exploded very big and killed a civilian and I failed the mission. Poor mission. It, it will let me keep playing though, that's kind of fun. Um, restart. Do I have to restart all the way at the beginning? That I do.
All right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Good yep. afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. sir. Can I help Can you? I help you? We're gonna uh, bon. speed run bon. uh, pro strats at this time into the safety deposit room. Open the door. Through into the privacy booth. Get the stuff out of the security box. Go back out. We got a flashbang. We got an appointment card. We're gonna go straight up to the security guard at the metal detector. Pause it. Go to gadgets. Choose our appointment card. Hit him Will with you? the appointment card. Cutscene happens. Press start to skip the cutscene. Uh, and we're back in the action. Okay. Now we know where to go. Oh my goodness. When you're not being sneaky, it feels like this is way more action packed. I was like taking my time before. I was going around corners, you know, checking my corners, 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 clear, corners, clear, like that. And this time, I'm just like barreling down the hallway going, what's up? Who wants some? You want some bullets? Who wants some bullets? That guy wants bullets. That guy definitely wants bullets. Ow. Okay. Okay. Vaughn? Okay, I swear that guy just spawned while I was looking at him. Okay. Whew. Hey, this, this, there, there's a gun cabinet in this bank. I can get, I can get bullets from the gun cabinet. Cool. All right, here's the safe. Go up to it. Go to gadgets. Get our safe cracker. What other gadgets do we have? Uh, hidden detonator. Keypad decryptor, data scrambler. Data scrambler. When placed on a computer or other electronic storage, an EMP pulse, an EM pulse scrambles any data stored there. Also generates white noise field. Okay, so that's what we need to use on the computers. Just went into the hallway without a gun equipped and saw a man's back and panicked. Um, security swipe card. Swipe. I've got a watch stunner. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> you like zap a dude. And then when you get close, Bond punches him. Okay, let's 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 get a gun out now, please, Bond. Gun, please. Gun, please. Okay, I'm in the security room. Killed all the people in here. We're gonna go to our gadgets and select our data scrambler and throw it at a computer. Cannot use that item here. Throw it at this computer. Cannot use that item here. Throw it at this computer. Do they actually want me to throw it like at a server or something? Is this game that smart? Oh, no, they want me to throw it at this VCR. Video evidence destroyed. Okay, all right, all right. I had to throw it at a VCR. Um, objectives, what do we got? Avoid civilian casualties. Uh, Lachey's vault. So yeah, I just gotta find Lachey's vault, which I'm guessing is back downstairs somewhere. I don't know why I think that. I definitely had this game when I when I was younger. Like I played this game a lot, um, but I think mul mostly we played multiplayer in this one. I don't remember it's single player quite the same way that I remember um, the single player for GoldenEye. But GoldenEye, I also like I knew that game before I knew the movie, so very different experience. Okay, back downstairs. Here's a door that says exit. If I go through that door, is it gonna end the game, the level? Oh, nope, it's it's the front entryway and here's that nice guard that let me in. The mission is being compromised. You better get out of there before the- Oh, what? Okay, so the guard that let you in at the beginning comes running at you if you open the door into the lobby, but when he comes running at you, shooting you, naturally you shoot him back, but when you do, you fail the mission. So I'm gonna just check around and see if I can find where um, Lachey's vault is while I'm in this mission failed state. It's not at his desk. There's a case in here. Nothing there. Like a, a big display cabinet thing. Where's his vault? What was that? Oh, hello, goon still alive. Um, it's not in his secretary's office. Oh, I bet it's this other room that I need the security key card for. Let's check real quick. Security swipe card, swipe, and gate is locked. There's a keypad. Okay, that's gonna be it. All right, restarting again. Here we go. This is what they talked about on Ultra 64 being frustrating about this game Good is the can't kill civilians can thing. 
And it really wouldn't be that bothersome if Bond wasn't like horribly murdering everybody in this game. And also in the movie, there's a guy he kills in the movie very unnecessarily. Um, like he could just knock the guy out, but instead he just he just murders him. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm down with Amen. that. Bond, James Bond. All right, here we go. Let's kill this guy in the secretary's room first. I know you're in here. He's not in here. What was he doing in here last time? Just hanging out? What was that? There's a guy in this hallway. <laughs> Shoot him in the shoulder. What? Who's shooting me? Hey! The guy snuck in behind me. Jerk. All right. All the people in the hallway. If you crouch, it makes your aim whip around a little bit slower, which is actually helpful in this game. Crouch before we open this door. Okay. Reload, reload, Bond, reload. Oh gosh, I'm getting shot. Okay, automatic gun now. This is what we call bullet hook. Bond loves to bullet holes. Well, Pierce Brosnan Bond does, at least. Okay, Bond, you got it. You, okay, that was my fault. I did not reload my gun before we ran into a hallway. That was on me. Should have known better. Okay, let's crack this safe with the gadgets. Safe cracker. Boom. Security swipe card. Gun. Hey, there's a bathroom. I didn't even check the bathroom. Is there going to be body armor in a toilet? That's the thing in GoldenEye, right? No body armor in the toilet. Sad day. All right, let's get the swipe card out. Gadget swipe card. Got it. Swipe in that swipe card. Two goons in this room, along with some civilians. Where's the second goon? Okay, if he shoots the civilians, I don't get penalized, right? There we go. All right. Gadgets and data scrambler and video evidence is destroyed. Get our magnum back out just in case there's anybody left alive out here. What do you think I changed my shooty type from single to something else? Oh, 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 a door just opened. Is there a boy? This one boy? This one boy. Okay. Let's get that swipe card. And then the keypad decoder. We're gonna get into this. Oh, that's the safe cracker. Gadgets, keypad decryptor. It just opens the gate. And then, oh hey, a briefcase full of money. And then we're going to go back into his office, and I think we need to escape out the window Don't shoot. rather than going down out the front door, because if we got that front door, the security guard's going to try and shoot me. Um, trying to press the B button to open the door, the window. Nothing's happening. Can't open any of these. Is it really I just got the front door? But how will I keep that man from shooting me? Maybe if I don't have a gun equipped when I get down there. Maybe? go down the stairs okay this door says exit we're gonna try it no security guard set off the metal detector there are police down here but since i don't have a gun out everybody's leaving me alone i can just walk out the door look at that not nearly as cool of an exit as he does in the uh the movie all right so then it shows him running away as an alarm goes off and a super cool car goes driving off real fast. All right. Look at I completed all my missions. Uh, time taken, 345. 007 award time would be two minutes. Oh, dang. Dang, dang, dang. My accuracy was 34%. Oof, duh. Let's save our game. Game save successful. Press start. And continue to King's Ransom on secret agent difficulty. Protect all primary MI6 personnel and avoid causing civil civilian, and civilian and security casualties. 
Uh, let's see. M says, I can't believe that anyone would have the nerve to actually attack MI6. I suspect it has something to do with Robert King. I know him well. We read law at Oxford together, and I helped him years ago when his daughter Electra was kidnapped by the terrorist Renard. Still, all that's in the past. Sir Robert thought that the report he paid for would identify the terrorists who've attacked his new oil pipeline in Kazakhstan. Then he discovered it was actually about the nuclear arsenals in the former Soviet Republic, so he turned it over to me. Maybe the attack is coincidental with his visit, but I want you to find him nonetheless and make sure he's safe. We're just going to start right there. We're not even going to read the other informations. I have this mint tea I'm drinking, and uh, it's cold now. James Bond. Sir that sucks. King. Ah, the man who retrieved my money. Excellent job. Can't thank you enough. It's interesting to like M briefing takes place so after this clearly because it MI6 hasn't I been attacked years yet. Ago when his daughter Electra was kidnapped by the terrorist Renard. Still, all that's in the you past. Already said that. So Robert thought that the report he paid for would identify the terrorists who attacked his new oil pipeline in Kazakhstan. Then he discovered it was actually about the nuclear arsenals in the former Soviet republics, so he turned it over to me. Something's not right about all this. Kaboom! King, King the, money. the money! And then Bongo's running through and gets there just in time. Wait, because the kaboom happens afterwards. Anyway. All right. This is a cool level because I'm pretty sure like a whole bunch of dudes are attacking MI6. Yeah, a dude just jumped through the window at me and I got a Deutsch M45 after I shot him. A bunch of security guards die in this level, but you can't, oh, almost shot one of the security guards. You can't shoot him or you lose. It's very complicated. This was where Ultra 64 gave up because they kept accidentally killing a guy. That guy put his arms up for some reason, but he was a baddie, so I killed him. Huh. Three of them in a row, just like that. Can I open this door? I can. Hello, server room. Quickly, Bond. We need someone with your clearance to activate the. Oh, cool! I accidentally closed the shutters. To initiate the lockdown. Activate third floor lockdown. Good job, me. I didn't even know I was doing that. Oh, okay. Stop shooting me. Okay, reload. There we go. All right, so now the windows are all shuttered on this floor, so we should be in better shape. Help, Jane. They've, got, They've got M. Oh, no. Rescue M from the terrorists. Reload your gun. There's a guy running at me. Okay, reload your gun again. Let's reload before we go into M's office. Here we go. I hope you know what you're doing, Dr. Seven. It would be a good idea if you would take me to the security. Okay, come on, M, follow me. Everybody loves an escort mission. They literally put escort in the objective. Come on, M. We gotta keep you safe. Ow! I, a, I do have a shotgun. Ooh. How are more of these guys getting in after I close the windows down? Come on, M. Into the security room. All right, M's in the security room. Go and find Sir Robert. All right, I'm on it. He was hitting the vault on the ground floor, so I gotta find the elevators. But there's gonna be more guys. What's in this room? Just a cowering scientist. It's okay, scientist. You'll be fine. Um, all right, uh, elevators are... Ooh, probably next to these guys. Okay, now. Oh, another room. Ooh, body armor. Um, I do know that when I go down stairs, oh shoot, that was the shoot button, not the door button. Okay, there's guys in the elevator shaft. What gun do I want out? The Deutsch M45, automatic, let's reload, because there are people hanging from wires in the stairway. Um, I know from listening to Ultra 64, there's gonna be a guy at the bottom of the stairs who I'm gonna wanna shoot, and that's why they kept failing the missions, because they kept shooting the guy. So I'm telling myself now, don't shoot the guy. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be more successful than they were. I only have one shotgun shell, so I'm gonna switch to my Raptor Magnum. Okay. Whoa, the stairs just exploded. And more guys are coming down the wires. Intense. How do I look up with the D-pad? Okay. Killed all those guys, that was pretty cool. Let's open this door, don't shoot. Hello, guard. Reports of a fire in the lobby. The sprinklers need to be activated manually. Okay, I gotta go turn on some sprinklers now. Oh, lots of guards. The automatic security door system is damaged. Can you reach the manual operation? Okay, 
activate ground floor lockdown. I gotta find security so I can activate the ground floor lockdown. Here's security. And print to get in. Turn on the lockdown. Okay. Now, what about- Oh! Jeez. Popped around the corner. That guy scared me so bad. What about the security system, y'all? Where do we turn on the security or the sprinkler system? That guy was hiding in the dark. Emergency sprinklers off. Switch that to on. Whoa! That guy fell through a hole in the ceiling. All right, sprinklers are going. Still, people falling through holes in the ceiling. That's no good. I'm hearing shooting. I'm not seeing shooting, which is interesting. Where, where am I supposed to go? There's a big map on the wall, but I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, so big map doesn't help me at all. You're no good to me, big map. Well, these are the stairs I came down. That's certainly not where I'm supposed to go. Okay, left hand on the left wall. Going through MI6 headquarters. It's very beige. Going back by the big map. Here's a door. I haven't opened. There's a guy inside. Let's see. What happened over here? Something just exploded in the corner of his room when there was no one there. But I found some body armor. Left hand on the left wall. Medical division. Check in this door. I only have three bolts in my gun. James. Stay here. You'll be safe. I think that's I have to the doctor key. that Bond had sex with in the movie in order to get him to pass him on his medical examination, which is extraordinarily unethical. Here's another door. It's a dark blue room, much like the one where a computer exploded when I was in it just a minute ago, but this one's empty. All right, um, that door's, oh, that door's locked down, but it's got a handprint thingy, so I can open it with my handprint. Hello, door, please open. Thank you. Where are we going, vaults? Seems like a good place to go. More guards, good guards. Oh no, there's a big explosion in the vault. Sir, these people need urgent medical attention. Can I get the doctor? the doctor? I have to escort Dr. Wormflash. Dr. Wormflash. Whoa! Okay, there are a lot. There was three guys in this hallway that was empty before. And there's another one, okay. Let's get this reloaded. Whew. All right, here's the medical division. Let's find Dr. Wormflash. James? You need it. Follow me. We're under attack. This not does worry. not sound like Brosnan anymore. I think they used lines from the movie they used Brosnan, and then they also had some other voice actor come in. Get out of here, you dudes. Come on. Come on, Dr. Wormflash. Quick, into the vaults. Okay, vaults are still being secured by, by good guys. Into the vault we go, through two giant security doors, and oh no, like Robert King's dying and stuff. Wait, where'd the doctor go? Thought she was right behind me. I apparently lost her. Dr. Warren Flash. Where is she? There she is, she's all the way back in the lobby. Come on, Are you coming? I'll walk backwards so I can watch you. A very unelegant way for James Bond to navigate through MI6 headquarters. All right. Objective complete. Cool. She's helping people and stuff. Now what do I do? What are my objectives? Protect all primary MI6, avoid causing civilian casualties. Find Sir Robert King. Okay, so now that Warm Flash is here, I can go and actually check off finding Sir Robert King. I already found him, but it didn't count for some reason. Hey, Robert King, what's up? Here, take this pin. It was the detonator. Okay, thanks. I'm glad you knew that the pin was the detonator. 007, this is Q. Get to the Q labs at once. The suspect is escaping. She has a boat waiting Oh no, outside. she has a boat waiting outside. This is where there should be a super cool boat level. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for that. Sorry about that. Um, this is where there should be a super cool boat chase, but they didn't put it in the Nintendo 64 version, which I was trying to remember when I was watching the movie if it was in the N64 version or not, but they confirmed it on Ultra 64 that apparently it's not. Um, Q Labs, where, oh, hey, you guys shooting me? There's, there's nice big signs on the wall pointing me in the right direction. Okay, ran out of bullets while I was like face to face with the guy. There we go. Q Division. 
and there's a hole in the wall and we go into a cutscene or a loading screen at least. Maybe a cutscene? Here we go. Bond runs down the hallway. He runs into Q-Labs. He hops in the boat. Q's fishing boat. That does not look anything like Q. I don't know who that was supposed to be, but that did not look like Q. But anyway, beep the mission. Time taken, 826, 007 war time, three minutes and 45 seconds. Wow, 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 wow. Um, 49% accuracy. My, my accuracy was much better that time. We'll go ahead and save it. And uh, that's where we're going to leave this episode for now. So, hey, thanks for listening to uh, Troidal Power Presents Power Playthroughs Podcast with Troidal Power Plays. The world is not enough. Um, this might go up in the Podcasters Assemble feed as well. So if you're listening on Podcasters Assemble, hey, come check out my show, Troidal Power Presents the Power Playthroughs Podcast with Troidal Power. And if you're listening on Troidal Power Presents the Podcast, Wait, Troidal Power presents Power Playthroughs podcast with Troidal Power. Hey, go check out my other podcast, Podcasters Assemble, where we're talking all the bomb movies. Um, thanks, friends. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, the world's kind of a mess, but we will all get through it together and hopefully come out a stronger world on the other side. If you haven't yet, go register to vote. Uh, please, 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 a billion times, please register to vote and uh, stay safe. Wear your masks, wash your hands, do all that good stuff. And tap A and hope for the best. This has been a presentation of the We Can Make This Work Probably Network. Follow us on Twitter at ProbablyWork for more of our questionable content. Also, we have a website called ProbablyWork.com.